We're joined now by, we have Dina Denny. She's from the Children's Home Society of Idaho to give us advice as parents to help our kids navigate some difficult topics as they head back to the classroom. And today we're gonna to talk about bullying and peer pressure as well. So two topics that I know a lot of parents, you know, we're always looking for additional advice on how to navigate that. So help us, Dina, with our kids heading back. What are, you know, what, what, what are some of those things that we can do as parents to help our kids prepare to face those difficult topics? It's a great question. Honestly, mm -hmm. I think just starting a conversation, open communication is the biggest key to helping our, our students, our yeah. young learners, and even our college level learners. We tend to forget about them, but they're still little, right? So having open conversations about peer pressure, about stress, about anxiety, just so that they know they can have that dialogue and maybe even develop some of that language because they might be feeling these things, but they might not know how to say it. Yeah. Yes. And so it normalizes it, lets them know that it's something you're aware of too, but also empowers them with that language so they can communicate with their experience. It's kind of, it reminds me like uh, the, how was your day at school? Good. And then like, and that's then how that's the conversation it. ends. Like, exactly. I'm sure, it, you know, and sometimes, I mean, I think we all remember going to school and sometimes when we get home, maybe the last thing we're thinking about is said unloading all the stuff that happened the day. We kind of just say good and move on. So I imagine even right now with what the first week of school for a lot of kids, starting that communication early and having them more than just one word conversations, right? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, and so even talking about our day at work, instead of saying like, how was your day? You could say, well, hey, good to see you today at work. Like I had an awesome day because of, so again, you're demonstrating it and they're yeah. understanding it's not just a one word answer. It's a bit of a discussion and a dialogue and it creates that space for it. And, and Joey, you do, you bring up such a great point, right? Like I do think that parents try to make that effort of, you know, let's talk about our day. We yeah. sit down around the, the dinner table to try to have that conversation. But even with those topics like bullying, peer yeah. pressure, mm -hmm. those are hard topics to talk about, right? Absolutely. And it's like pulling teeth, yeah. especially oh, from I know. a preteen, right? Yeah. Parents, you know what I'm talking about. So, so how do we navigate that? How do Absolutely. we get them to feel comfortable enough to open up about some of those big challenges? That is a really good question. Right. And that is something that is honestly really dynamic in response. So I think again, creating a safe space for them to talk, letting them know again from your own experiences, because we've been, hopefully not all of us, but some of us have seen aggression in the workplace or had like that employee who we kind of avoided eye contact with because they weren't very kind. So using our own personal experiences, even if we have to go back to our time in school yeah. and just starting the conversation that way mm -hmm. so that it feels safe and it's not like you're directly calling them out, you're kind of sharing an experience that they can relate to or not and it creates that space for it. Yes, yeah, so that relatability. Yeah, right? warning yeah. signs though. So like as a parent, sometimes it's like, I don't know, my kids don't exactly come home and say, I had a tough day at school. What are some warning signs for parents to know, okay, if my kid's coming back and saying this or that or acting a certain way, yeah. that's a warning sign. Maybe it's, it's tough at school. Absolutely, good question. So just paying attention to their behavior. If they're normally pretty quiet into themselves and more reserved, you might not notice it right away because that's part of their normal behavior. But if you're seeing things outside of the normal, again, losing pleasure and things that they once enjoyed, if their appetite has drastically changed, if they're not spending time with their friends, things like that, as soon as you're noticing those changes, the most important thing is to, to discuss that because a lot of kids are waiting for you to say something and, mm -hmm. the, and this is just from research that's been conducted. The more days that go by that people in their life aren't asking them, it is reinforcing the negative feelings that they're having. So if at school they're being picked on and made an outcast and there's a lot of shame that goes with that. When they're home, they're gonna feel that still and you not asking them about it is making them think I'm supposed to feel this yeah. way. Mm. For parents to, where, where can they go, right? I mean, yeah. they, do they, where, where can they go for these resources to help Absolutely, them? so the Children's Home, our counseling clinic, if you go to our website, we have all sorts of resources in there. You can also call us if there's anything on there that you're looking for and it's not there. We'll get it for you. We'll create I'm it. I'm like, I need to speak with Dina, please. Yes, Help please, me, Dina. Please. Yes. And we have yes. amazing therapists that, I mean, no one in the Valley has been caring for families as long as we have, I argue, because awesome. we've been around a very long time. So reach out to us. We have a big team and here in Boise and in Meridian, and we're just standing by waiting to help families. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah. much. And I, for one, as a parent, and I mean, Joey. Yeah, you know, I'm a three-year-old right now. Got, we're not dealing with that yet, but, but yeah. this is ahead of you, right? Oh, I know. And I've, I've got some older kids. Greatly appreciate you Absolutely. coming on and talking about this because I know so many families, we're still kind of transitioning between 
all the baggage that we've accrued over the past few mm -hmm. years with the pandemic and trying to go back to the classroom yeah. and learning socializing again and getting that confidence back. You know, this, these are things I think that we're gonna have to continue to talk about for some time to come. Absolutely. You know, so thank Absolutely. you, really appreciate My it. My pleasure, thank you. All right, you. everyone, and that website's at the bottom of your screen. Please use that resource.